Did you want to gather in a bit closer, guys? Release me to the earth, to my eternal rest. All I am, I give to you. Remember me, my friends. Release me to the sky to fly so light and free. All struggles past, all fears now gone. Be glad for me, my friends. Release me to the trees, to ever flowing streams. For here, my spirit will live on. Find joy in life, my friends. Release me through your tears to horizons yet unknown. I'll always be a part of you. Take courage now, my friends. Release me in your love, let memories never die. My earthly walk now is over. Be at peace, my friends. And so now this afternoon, we find ourselves in this beautiful outdoor garden, a place which holds the earthly forms of so many who have been loved and lost. A place which is already sacred to you, Ruth's family. We stand aware of the nature that surrounds us, trees swaying in the breeze, the grey skies above, starlight at night, bright spots of colourful flowers and ornaments, powerful reminders of the love, the honour and the memories of those gone before us. Ruth now moves into that part of your lives that you call the past. Life will be different without her but her influence will live on. You will love and you will remember her for the rest of your lives. You take with you the love and the support of each person here as you walk into your future without Ruth. As we begin to recognise that we've done all that we can for Ruth, a much loved mother, grand and great grandmother, a sister and sister-in-law, an auntie and a friend, we release her into our memory and we prepare to say the most final of our goodbyes to her. But before we do that, 
I want to say thank you to Ruth. Thank you for all that you brought into our lives, for all the things that we learned from you, both in the good times and in the difficult. As in every human relationship, we acknowledge that there were times when we each made mistakes, but now we choose to leave those in the past. We take all the memories that we have of you and we polish the good ones. We polish them like treasured possessions that we will bring out once in a while into our minds and remember. We recognise that we have done all that we can for you and acknowledge that our last act of care is to lay you to rest. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance. These then are the last rites in the natural life of Ruth Elizabeth Sheriff. We have remembered her and now we say farewell. So tenderly and reverently we commit Ruth's body which tows this unique person, earth to earth, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. With all of our love, Ruth, we bid you farewell. I know that Ruth meant so much to all of you here today and I would invite you to remember her in your own special way. Maybe there'll be something in particular that reminds you of her. It might be a ball of wool or a pair of knitting needles. It might be the smell of toast cooking, a jigsaw puzzle, some Lego, St Kilda running out onto the field. When you see these things, you might be reminded of this little verse. No, you won't, because I haven't got it. <laughs> I invite you now to come forward and to place a daffodil or some petals onto Ruth's coffin, to spend a few moments with her, maybe say a quiet prayer or have a quiet thought. Send her your love, your thanks to her for all that she has meant to you. Our service is over and I thank you for your attention. Give you a song than diamonds or gold. Long star belt buckles and old faded Levi's, and each night begins a new day. If you don't understand him, he don't die yet. He'll probably just ride away. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys.
Say yeah. 